everybody, this is Praxis. Josh and I are back on site today. Josh is doing some last minute packing of the gravel down there in anticipation of the concrete uh, uh, slab for the floor being poured in the very near future. And I'm doing carpentry up here. The carpentry that I've been working on is kind of a mirror image wall to the one you see over on the other side there. I was sort of held up from doing this wall though because there were some big question marks uh, in relation to how exactly to build this wall. And, and, uh, and the way those kind of came up was that the the wall is sort of based on where the door is going to be, the door that goes through the wall, uh, and the door is going to be based on where the stairwell terminates. Now the stairwell comes right up through this area here, I'm, I'm standing uh, on the top step of it right over here, and uh, I really wasn't sure where the stairwell was going, to, uh, was going to end, so because I didn't know where the stairwell was going to end, I didn't know exactly where I was going to put the door, because I'd like the door as far away from these as possible, so you're not, it's not so close that you're hitting your head when you go through it, but at the same time, I don't want the doorway so close to the stairs it becomes an issue. I know that there's some code about where, how the distance between a door and a stairwell, because uh, you know you don't want to walk out a, a doorway in the dark and you know, fall down right, right down a flight of stairs. I haven't been able to find any consistency between all the experts that should know what that code is. So I'm kind of just erring on trying to get it as far away as I can. So what was holding me up really was knowing where that top step was going to be. And the reason that there was some uh, confusion over that was that if I can do a run of, of 12 stairs down to the uh, bottom, it is almost perfect to the code, except that every step would be two one hundredths of an inch too tall, beyond the ability of anybody to measure, but if somebody were to measure the entire flight, uh, height of the floor and then divide it by 12 steps, they would find out that all of my steps were, you know, an incredibly vanishingly small amount, uh, you know, past what's legal in the code. Uh, it's, again, beyond anybody's ability to measure. I mean, even dimensional lumber has uh, variations higher than that. So even if you built a run of stairs exactly, technically, mathematically to the code, there could be some stairs that are easily, you know, two one-hundredths of an inch taller. Um, so, you know, doing it that way wouldn't be doing anything that's outside of what's done if you're following the code, but if somebody did the multiplication, uh, sorry, the, di the division, they could find out that technically I was two one-hundredths of an inch too tall. Now, if I added an extra uh, stair into it, what that does uh, is it would make all the steps a little squattier, they'd all be within code, except that adding an extra step brings the stairwell closer to this door and closer to you know that actual danger of walking out a door and falling down a flight of stairs. Um, the other option that I could do is that I could make all the, the stairs exactly to code except for the bottom one and uh, accumulate the entire uh, differential between you know the height uh, and you know what's allowed and have the bottom step be a quarter of an inch too tall uh, and then to compensate for that what I would do is just put a quarter of an inch sheet of plywood at the bottom of the run of stairs, like a quarter of an inch landing, uh, and you know it would make it technically legal, except that if I do that, the building inspector is gonna come through on the inspection and be like, there's something weird, like why did you do this? It would just call attention to the whole situation, and they probably know I was planning on pulling the plywood up later. And then even when I do pull up the plywood, it, you know, a quarter of an inch isn't much, but if you're going down a flight of stairs and then the last step is a little bit longer, it does, create a little bit of the danger. So I had three options. One was sensible, but illegal, and two were slightly more dangerous, but legal to the safety code. You know, <laughs> we can all complain about that, I'm sure, in the comments below, but it's been like, you know, the, the environmental codes prevented you from having like windows that would accept like, you know, free sunlight. <laughs> it's like all the codes are bad. Well, not all the codes. Many of the codes are backwards and upside down and counterproductive and counterintuitive, but you know, you, you, know, you deal with them the best you can. And what I've decided to do is do the sensible yet illegal uh, approach of making all the stairs just two one hundredths of an inch too tall, which allowed me to finally know where the top step was going to be, which allowed me to start this wall. So that's what I'm doing today. Uh, I feel good about that. I, you know, I really hope that nobody catches it. If they do, I guess I could just rebuild the entire stairwell. I really hope they don't because, you know, two one hundredths of an inch, dude. <laughs> That's it. Thanks for watching.